Oh, good job. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Ong Jiru Jibra, Kahmanto, Kajamla Kahmanto, Kajamla Kahmanto, Kajamla Kahmanto, L'audience est reprise. Before we proceed to councils for Nunchia to Avant pose poursuivre, questions to witness Kang Eo Elias Deutsch, the chamber wishes to put document E43-4 which is a decision concerning the document Council for Nunchia wish to document put uh, for examination que, during uh, uh, this Pesman hearing before the break, faire, uh, the uh, lunch adjournment. This decision, the decision is on the admissibility of the materials to be used as evidence in the case of now, counsel for Nguyen Chi is handed over to the floor. Je donne la parole Bien maintenant bon, à Mr. Pressman. Đã nói chuyện buộc mục. However, the chamber wishes to inform parties that la chambre souhaite informer les parties the evaluation of the evidence, including the documents put up before us today, will be up to the discretion of the chamber to assess its probative value and to be more precise uh, judge. Afin d'être plus précis, will be je vais donner la parole au juge Lavergne pour qu'il puisse apporter des éclaircissements sur ce Chacha point Lavergne pour les parties. Proceed. Juge Lavergne, vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Ce ne sont pas tant des éclaircissements yes, que you, des clarifications, parce que j'ai peur qu'une partie de ce que vous avez dit n'ait pas that, été well, correctement traduite. Donc, ce que vous avez annoncé, en fait, so c'est que le document... In fact, E44, is that document E43-4, which are the decisions taken by the chamber in case 001, and regarding the interview that was conducted by Christophe Pichou, and this decision was placed, uh, is also placed on case file for case 002, and the Defense can continue its questioning as long as the questions are relevant. And we will assess the probative value de cette, uh, uh, of this interview later on notre when we will hand down our decision. Doik, would you mind reading? The underlined sections in the J'aimerais donc vous demander, Monsieur le témoin, de lire la partie qui figure dans l'encadré rouge. Response. I would like to read it as follows. Je vais donc lire le passage. Question. In what Question. case? The hot methods used. Quand est-ce que les, la méthode chaude a été utilisée? Response. When Réponse, they did not answer, or the answers pas, were unsatisfactory. Ou alors lorsque les réponses étaient insatisfaisantes. In the case of Koi Tun, we used Tun, torture because he reacted. I would like to only read uh, on this part. Je voudrais lire le passage. Please continue. Maître Pesman, veuillez poursuivre. OK. 
n h ó m x ô n g bạn để xài response response I would like uh, to reject the Je term that uh, I read. I did say that we used hot uh, method uh, when Koi Thun reacted. Uh, I didn't say torture. I was reading from it, but I didn't say that. Maître p e s m a n Why did you use the hot method, method on Koi Tun? Response. This is the point that I contest uh, the document. I was the one who interrogated uh, Koi Tun, and I already. Stated again and again when Koi t u n was sent in, I later on kept him on the fourth floor, guarded uh, by étage, a security guard to ensure that he did not react. When he calmed down and I went pas. to see him, soit, I calmé, asked him that uh, he should uh, talk. To me, because what he confessed uh, would be for Anka, and he would uh, treat uh, me as the messenger instead. And he started to write down his confession. A few minutes later, he broke the pen. And was very angry. He said that he was already. Acting as Anka, but was not properly treated. My question was: Why did you use the hot method on Koi Tun? Could you please answer that question? Response. Mr. President, if I am not allowed to elaborate on this document, I wish not to respond to further questions from Council because this document has caught me off guard. And there are a lot of doc uh, uh, this document. Uh, Uh, is very contradictory to Donc, others, and this is the piece of document that I pay great attention to, and I wish to clarify things on Donc, this matter before I can respond to questions. And it is important to know who was a real liar and who was telling the truth. It is indeed important to know who is a real liar and who is telling the truth. That's exactly the reason why I'm asking you this question. Why did you apply the hot method on Koi Tun? Okay, Lord Prime Minister, please. The President, the Co-Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Vous pouvez poursuivre, Monsieur le Co-procureur international. Mr. President, um, this is the third le time that the question has been asked. C'est la troisième fois uh, que cette question a été said, posée au témoin. Um, le témoin n'a jamais uh, dit qu'il a utilisé la méthode chaude de l'encontre de Koi Tun. That's what appears in the uh, in the interview. Voilà ce um, qu'il est. Uh, obviously, the witness is concerned that uh, he's not uh, been given an opportunity to explain why that appears in the interview. That's what he wants to do. Uh, so the premise of the question. That he used hot methods on Koi Tun has not come from this this particular witness. It's come from the statement, and uh, the witness wants a chance to explain why that statement appears there. And I think uh, the witness should be able to do that. I think the question is misleading. D'expliquer cela, et je pense que la question bah, euh, euh, porte à prête à confusion. Le président, le président. Council for the civil party, you may proceed first. Je donne la first. parole au Conseil des partis civils. Council for Pekang. Thank you, Mr. President. The text Merci, is rather mixed up and uh, misleading. Le document est 
And the reason Devant that uh, witness asked uh, for clarification uh, should be um, considered and that he should uh, be given opportunity to explain the president. Uh, objection is sustained. And we already continue. noted that the Deutsche wished to observe or to give his observation regarding the document. document. And the chamber has already ruled La on this. And the chamber has uh, decided to put the document E43-4 uh, 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 for examination e before the chamber. So if councils uh, have new questions other than this, Donc, si les ont he may questions proceed. Des questions the document, peut last uh, question uh, was regarded as having been put to the question, witness. Nous considérons que cette question uh, a do été posée aux témoins. What do you, or did you mean when you said that the witness or the, the prisoner, Koi Thun, reacted back? The president, Mr. Witness, have you ever said Koitun reacted back during the interrogation? Have you ever said such words or phrase before? Cette phrase Auparavant. Response. I have uh, talked a lot on this 
When I discussed the details de, of Koitoun, then I would reprises. say that he reacted back three times. Every time he reacted, I would do something to control the situation. And I asked Koitoun in some special circumstances, the particulars of which had already been reiterated and testified time and again. That is why I asked the chamber so that I can explain in detail on this if you allow me. The president, you may proceed then. Let us know the details. Response. Your honors, and Cambodian fellow citizen. Monsieur le Président, Madame, I Monsieur used to juge, be under supervision of Koitoun from October 1967. I was at Bang Thom behind the factory in Kampong Cham. I had a great affiliation and uh, sentiment toward uh, this person. Une and vis -vis vis -vis de when my superior asked me about Koitou and characteristic, I told him in detail. And later on, Koitou uh, uh, had uh, some problem. Koitoun the president interrupts counsel. We note you are on your feet. Uh, you may proceed. Uh, dit, I'm a bit worried about where this is going. Uh, I was asking him particular questions about the witness's response when Koitoun reacted back. A a I can rephrase my question Je with peux that regard. Ma uh, uh, but I object to the, the witness starting on the expose that it le takes valuable time for my cross-examination. Um, so I'm willing to rephrase my question about the hot method. Je suis prêt à uh, ma question s'agissant de la méthode chaude. What the trial chamber desires. Si c'est ce que la chambre souhaite. Uh, the president, uh, the co-prosecutor, may proceed. Monsieur le co-procureur. Thank you, Honours. I, I don't want to interrupt the flow. Um, any more than it, than it has been, but um, I think uh, the premise of these questions are that uh, the accused, I'm sorry, the witness in fact did make the statement. Now he said he wanted to clarify how this statement came about. So rather than have the matter confused more, I would suggest that um, the questions be asked, did you make the statement? Um, if you did make the statement, is it accurate? And um, if you did make the statement, why was the statement made. Et but at si the moment, uh, we have questions based on, um, uh, based on facts which the, uh, the witness himself um, has said that uh, didn't happen. A dit que la pas eu lieu. Mr. President, uh, uh, I agree with the prosecutor. Monsieur le Président, je suis d'accord avec l'accusation. The president, uh, Deutsch, you are now asked uh, to conclude uh, your comment on Koitoun issue, and please be prepared to listen to the questions by counsel for Nunchi and respond to the questions if you uh, feel necessary. Counsel for Nunchi is also advised uh, to put uh, uh, the questions that are uh, allowed uh, only by the law, if not, the chamber shall exercise its uh, discretion to uh, interrupt. Doik, uh, did you tell Christophe Pechot that you used hot methods on Koitoun when he reacted back. Response, uh, that question could be answered. Koitoun reacted uh, back three times, but I did not use hot uh, method. I used uh, political means, ideology. Do 
to go back to this morning very briefly when I asked you whether at the time you knew about the hot, the cold and the chewing methods. Your answer was not completely clear to me. Uh, can you tell me whether you know now whether you know now whether you knew at the time about those terms? My question is maybe slightly confusing, but that's also caused by your answer this morning. Can you tell me, do you know whether at the time you knew about the cold, the hot, and the chewing methods? Response. Mr. President, I think uh, the question is repetitious. I don't know whether I should respond to this or not. The President, uh, indeed, uh, you supposed to respond to the question because Council already indicated that uh, he could not yet uh, get uh, the uh, message uh, yet. Uh, Council uh, was putting this question during his allotted uh, time, and you should uh, respond. Question pendant uh, la période consacrée au contemplatoire. Uh, Donc, nous Mr. Vous President, de could you ask uh, Mr. Pesman to rephrase the le question, témoin. please? Monsieur le Président, est-ce que vous pouvez demander à Mr. Pesman de reformuler sa question? The President, uh, Council, you have already heard uh, from the witness, Monsieur and Pesman, please um, uh, rephrase uh, uh, your question. Est-ce que vous pouvez reformuler votre question? Uh, uh, a party is advised uh, to make sure that the question is also uh, taken uh, note so that uh, it's not repeated. It's not up to you to decide whether you have to answer Maître a question Pestman, if you think it's repetitious. It's up to the trial chamber. Si une Did you know le témoin, et si vous devez at the time what du the terms de la hot, de cold and chewing methods meant? Response. The hot, the cold, and the chewing method. Les méthodes chaudes, froides et de mastication uh, were used, and we used the cold method with coitun when he reacted. And réagi. to put it simply, honestly, we only used clair, cold method all along with coitun when he reacted. À chaque fois qu'il a réagi. Only when the interrogators noted that the uh, hot method uh, shall be applied, that uh, they would uh, use uh, the la method. Que the hot la and cold methods are used interchangeably from time to time in order to extract confessions. De pouvoir tirer des aveux. So just to, to be absolutely clear, what, what, why did you tell the investigating judges that you had never heard of those terms until you saw que vous Riti Pan's film? Why did you tell the investigating judges that you had never heard of those terms until Mr. President, this morning I Monsieur said President, that from 1975 it was 30 years ago, and so I was confused. 30 ans se sont écoulés, Later on, et donc, un peu confus. with the help from the co-investigating judges, I was told that was not making differentiation from the hot, the cold, or the chewing methods. 
Later on, I was facilitated je by the co-prosecutors in order to différence help me entre les méthodes chaudes froides et domestication, et puis ensuite les coprocureurs m'ont aidé à me souvenir de cela. Le microphone, Maître Pesman. Your Honours, I uh, would like to move on to a different topic. J'aimerais maintenant passer à un autre and sujet. I would like to show et j'aimerais que some documents, confessions to uh, the witness. Des aveux. Um, and I would like to start with uh, a confession which the witness has already seen earlier this, uh, during this trial, uh, which is document D, D 43 stroke Roman 4 Annex 75. It is the confession of Tiff May and the Khmer ERN is 00174. 754. So I'm asking for permission to put this document 0, on the screen. 0, 0, 7, 4, 7, 4. Je demande la permission de pouvoir projeter ce document à l'écran. Le is instructed to put up the document onto the screen. Le d'audience, veuillez projeter le document en question à l'écran. And um, Mr. President, I've noticed that uh, the documents are not Mr. shown Mr. on the, uh, the public screen. Que on peut montrer ces documents um, sur les écrans destinés au public. Maybe it is possible to, for the public to see this document as well. Serait-il possible pour not uh, only for the parties le public de pouvoir voir le document et pas simplement le témoin et les parties? Right. It's being shown. Très Thank bien, you very merci much. Merci beaucoup. Uh, Mr. Doig. Do you recognize this document? Le document en question? If you prefer, we can give you a hard copy. Si that may be easier to read. Vous préférez, nous pouvons aussi vous remettre une copie papier qui peut être plus facile à lire. Thank you, Mr. President. I recognize this document. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je reconnais le document. Time, May I request that this document be enlarged so that I can read the le document pour que je puisse en lire les notes. Annotations. Uh, les yes, notes manuscrites que j'ai écrites. Oui, maintenant c'est assez. Uh, Mr. President, maybe it's easier if we give him a hard copy. We have on. Maître Pesman, peut-être est-ce qu'il est plus simple, Monsieur le Président, qu'on lui remette une copie assistance. papier. Nous pouvons peut-être demander à lui ses audiences de la lui remettre. Anyad, Montreuil, Rat, Badalaka, tout le monde a vu ça. Mr. President. The chamber permit the court officer is instructed oui. to take the document from counsel and oui, to, to be left for Uh, Doig, um, you already mentioned or recognized your own handwriting uh, at the bottom Deutsch, vous avez of the document. Can you que vous avez read the document or your annotation for us, please? Thank you. Réponse. Beloved brother, this document Cher frère, includes those old regime people il s'agit dans tous ces documents de gens de l'ancienne société on the 10 november, 10 november 1977. 1977 thank you question who is the beloved brother qui est cher frère you addressed it, this annotation to à qui vous aviez adressé cette note Thank you, Mr. President, the beloved brothers here is to both Sun Sen, that was when I was with Sun Sen, and when I was with Brother Noon, I addressed to Brother Noon. Can you explain what you mean by when, with, when I was with Brother Nguyen, when I was with Nguyen, Frère Son Sen? Can you explain what you mean by that?
Akun. Mr. President, when I was with Sun Sen, I went to report personally with Sun to Sun Sen. And when I was with Noon Chia, I also went to report personally to Noon Chia. We were approximately half a meter away from each other. Thank you. But the beloved brother here, is that Son Sen or is that Noon Chia? Je vous remercie plutôt. Mais cher frère, dans ce cas-ci, cela signifie Son Sen ou Noon Chia? Akun. I wrote this word to reflect the people at the upper echelon, to reflect the Ankar Pulpot. Cher frère, c'était pour m'adresser à l'échelon supérieur. Do I understand your answer to mean that the beloved brother in this particular notation refers to Pulpot? Cher frère, c'est Pulpot. As the word respected brother or beloved brother does not refer to Pol Pot, it refers to any brother who let me. I understand your answer, but who is that brother who led you when you wrote this annotation? De qui dépendiez-vous quand vous avez écrit cette note? At the time I refer to Nguyen Chia because it was then that Nguyen Chia supervised me directly. Are you saying that because you have seen the date, 10 November 1977, which is after the 15th of August 1977? Is that why? You saying that it's addressed to Nguyen Chia? Is that your answer? Yes. 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 At the bottom of my annotation, which reads 10 November 1977, this document came from me. I signed it on that day. Thank you. Could you please read the annotation in the other box, small box on the left? Dans l'autre encadré, à gauche. Sent to brother Noon one copy, 11th November 1977. You told the trial chamber that earlier during your testimony that that is Son Sen's handwriting. Is that correct? Que c'était l'écriture de Son Sen, n'est-ce pas? Akun Tramtrai. Yes, it is correct. And the date of the annotation is one day after the date of your annotation. Would you agree? The jour vous avez signé le document, vous avez écrit vos notes, n'est-ce pas? Akun Main. Yes. Réponse en effet. Are you sure? Question. This document was not sent to Son Sen by you. And are you sure the annotation underneath was addressed to Sonsen? Que la note au bas n'était pas adressée à Sonsen? Akun, come to back. Ah, 
comme ma robot. Réponse, My annotation was directed to Brother Noon. Ma note était adressée à Frère Noon. La note au-dessus, c'est l'écriture de Sun Sen. Can can you explain to me then um, to the court why a copy of this confession had to be sent by Sun Sen to Nuan Chia when you stated that all confessions after the 15th of August 1977 were only sent to Nuan Chia? Why did he have to receive a copy of a confession he already had? President, as I have heard, the council requires me to elaborate on this issue, so let allow me to do so. L'avocat veut que je donne plus de détails. Je vais donc donner plus de détails. After I no longer work closely with. Sun Sen, I communicated with him through communication radio. After I no longer worked closely with Sun Sen, I could communicate with him through radio. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. We did not have only this one brother, but also two brothers. Les documents so, pour qu'il en puisse en faire rapport à l'échelle supérieure. Time, he went to à l'époque, donc, il était allé à une réunion à Phnom Penh. C'est ce que That's je crois. Et je sais pourquoi. Il avait écrit une note sur ce document. Il avait écrit une note sur ce document. D'après ce que je comprends, la dernière annotation de Nguyen Chia a été faite le 21 août 1977. After Sun Sen no longer works closely with me, he frequently went to the meeting in Phnom Penh, and his duty was to read documents. Et de lire les documents. He did this work since the 9th of October 1975 until the 25th of 11. 1975, jusqu'au 25 novembre 1977, date à laquelle il a reçu d'autres tâches. Your Honours, I would like to show the next document. Je vais maintenant montrer le prochain document. Which is another confession which was shown to the witness earlier on the 29th of March. It's document D43, stroke Roman 4, annex 26. Khmer, ERN 00173049. I request permission to put that on the screen and to give a copy, a hard copy, to the witness. À pouvoir projeter ce document à l'écran et remettre une copie papier au témoin. Je vais demander à the court officer is instructed to take the document from the council. Vous êtes autorisé, lui c'est l'audience, veuillez remettre une copie papier du document au témoin. Do you remember seeing this document Question. on the 29th of the March? Deutsch, vous souvenez-vous avoir vu ce document qu'on vous a montré le 29 mars? I have seen that. Réponse, uh, oui. Could you please read Question. out the annotation in the top left-hand corner of this document? En haut à gauche. Dans l'encadré. Ocon. Comme son anchun. I would like to read as follows. The Ministry of Social Affairs. Le ministère des Affaires Sociales a déjà résolu. On the 29th of March, you also 
question. Le 29 mars, stated that you recognized the handwriting. Que vous reconnaissiez l'écriture. Whose handwriting is it according to you? Selon vous, c'est l'écriture de qui? Thank you, Mr. President. His handwriting is Brother Nunes. C'est l'écriture de Frère Nunes. Loïc, that is not what you told the investigating judges. Loïc, ce n'est pas ce que vous avez dit au juge d'instruction. Do you remember what you told the investigating judges? Vous souvenez-vous de ce que vous avez dit au juge d'instruction dans le document D95? ERN English 00205159, Khmer 00205150, and French 00205167. Do you remember what you told the investigating judges about the annotation in the top left hand corner? 00 20 51 67 en Khmer 00 20 51 50 et en anglais 00 20 51 59. Vous souvenez-vous donc ce que vous avez dit au juge d'instruction Réponse. Au début, en fait, j'étais un peu perdu. J'ai fait une erreur. J'ai pensé que c'était l'écriture de Son Sen. Et par la suite, on m'a donné la possibilité de d'informer les co-juges d'instruction. Donc j'ai eu une autre occasion pour euh, le dire aux co-juges d'instruction. Did you uh, change your statement when you realized that the date on the document Est-ce que vous avez changé ce que vous, votre version en effet quand vous avez remarqué que en fait, la date du document était le, en février 78 et que vous avez tenu pour acquis Nuanchia instead of Somsen que ça ne devait être Nuanchia plutôt que Sonsen. Mr. President, Réponse. when I made a correction, I did not Monsieur base on the date of issuance. Quand corrigé, I based on the writing itself. Cela Brother Sonsen never wrote the word already or how in Khmer like euh, that. Vous savez, Sonsen n'écrivait jamais le mot euh, déjà en Khmer, Howie, euh, de cette façon. Did you spend a long period of your life in intelligence? Question. Did you ever receive any training in euh, the recognition of handwriting? Est-ce que vous avez reçu une formation en reconnaissance de la calligraphie? Thank you. I had no expertise training. Non, je n'ai pas reçu de formation particulière. Your Honour, I would like to show the next confession. Question. J'aimerais maintenant, Monsieur le Président, montrer. Khmer 00174736. Le prochain aveu au témoin. Translation. In English, can be found on. ERN 00629418. The French translation can be found at 00280058. Montrer les aveux suivants donc le RN en clair est 00174736, la version française 00288. 0058 et en anglais 0072 94 Le président, vous avez une copie papier, puis c'est d'audience, veuillez remettre un exemplaire papier du document au témoin. I have covered or asked question. Our case manager to cover part of the document. I've covered the annotations which were made after the confession was given to Doig. My question is, without looking at the annotations, 
Doig. Doig. Do you recognize this document? Reconnaissez-vous ce document? Je me rappelle ça, l'autre petit, qui me semble bien être là. Aïe, que ça me dérange. Le témoin. The document that is provided to me is different from the one that is put up on the screen. Le document qu'on m'a donné est différent de celui que j'ai à l'écran. À quel document faites-vous référence, maître? Council, can you indicate which document you are using? Quel document vous utilisez? Because the document in the hands of the accused is different from the one that is put up on the screen. Que celui qui est à l'écran. Regarding the covered parts. Enfin, celui avec les parties masquées. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it is indeed the wrong number. Oh, no, this is the right, it, the right document is shown on the screen now. It was the ERN number I gave. And I understand this is the document the witness has Je crois comprendre que in his hands now. Le document que le témoin a entre les mains. The president accounts... Uh, a witness uh, should wait. Um, yes, international cooperation. Your Honour, I, I don't know the purpose for the defence altering the document. Je ne sais pas exactly that the, the given. I think the witness should get the document that appears on the case file, témoin, and he should be asked questions about that. Unless there's some explanation for the alteration of the document, the witness is getting compared to what everyone else is receiving. Compared to what everyone else is receiving n'a remis au témoin par rapport à tous ceux que oh, nous avons entre les mains. The, the shown, Autrement dit, je version. demande que l'on présente au témoin l'intégralité du document et pas simplement un document dont certains aspects ont été cachés. Le président. The president. Just a little call lawyer, you may proceed. La parole est à Maître Simon Lefort. Oui, Monsieur le Président, j'approuve totalement yes, l'observation de Monsieur le Procureur. Je pense totally qu'on n'est pas dans un jeu de devinettes uh, et que les documents doivent not, uh, être présentés dans leur intégralité uh, et the non pas avec des parties qui sont cachées par une des parties uh, uh, au procès. And, uh, et je pense qu'il ne pourrait y avoir de modifications aux documents que dans l'intérêt de protéger quelqu'un, ce qui n'est so pas le cas ici, clairement. Je pense donc qu'il faut présenter un document dans son intégralité. Any person, that is not the case here. So I think the document should be shown to the Jane witness in its entirety. Pesman. The President, yes, uh, Mr. Pesman, you may proceed. I, I will show the document in its entirety. The purpose of this exercise is to show to the court and to everyone well, in this de courtroom à tout le monde. Uh, when annotations were made and what the witness Quand des notes saw ont at the time. Apposées. Et ce que le témoin a um, vu à l'époque. Je vais demander annotation. à mon gestionnaire de dossier de révéler la première note. Et puis, je vais demander à l'homme. Je vais demander au témoin. Si le document looked like si c'était when he transferred it bel et bien l'apparence du document quand il l'a transféré à ses supérieurs. That was my question. And I will voilà la question que j'allais poser. Reveal the other et bien sûr, je l'entends. Dévoiler les autres notes is, et montrer l'intégralité du document. Look like this Mais ma question à Deutsch est est-ce que le document avait l'air exactement de cela quand vous l'avez transféré à vos annotations supérieures Les autres notes n'étaient pas là et to your superior. sur le document quand vous l'avez envoyé à vos supérieurs. Enfin, je voulais d'abord lui demander s'il reconnaissait le document et le témoin n'a pas encore eu la chance de répondre à cette question. Le président. Yes, uh, lawyer, you la may parole est à la partie. Sur cette objection, je pense qu'on ne peut pas présenter un document en enlevant des parties puis en en ajoutant au fur et à mesure. On présente un document du dossier tel qu'il est et on ne fait pas des jeux de devinettes en ajoutant des morceaux et en en enlevant au fur et à mesure. Le document est tel qu'il est, doit être présenté tel qu'il est et non pas avec des modifications de notre part. We should show the entire document without uh, any modifications. I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm trying to show to everyone and to your honours uh, uh, the way this document went, the persons 
uh, that saw this document in a chronological order. Because I noticed dans un ordre that last week there was some confusion. Remarqué la semaine dernière qu'il y avait une certaine confusion justement sur à quoi ressemblait le document et quand. Je vais bien sûr retirer les masques euh, les cachets dans un instant. Mais je voulais montrer étape par étape comment ce document est passé entre les mains de différentes the personnes. Et je ne veux pas him the so that induire euh, le témoin en erreur speculating. ou porter confusion. Euh, en montrant toutes les notes et le poussant ainsi à faire de la spéculation. The President, the Chamber decides that the objection, the objection by the prosecution and the civil party lawyers stands. Fait droit à l'objection de l'accusation des parties civiles. If Defence Counsel for Nuanji intends to put si this document Nguyen before the Chamber, the entire document should be shown. Ce document devant la Chambre, il faut montrer l'intégralité du document au témoin, de sorte à qu'il puisse l'examiner et qu'il puisse décider s'il l'a vu, s'il l'a lu. This document before, before, the cha before the council can put for the question, ce otherwise, Council is not allowed to que puisse lui put questions regarding this document. Poser des questions, sinon euh, le Conseil de Nuncia ne pourra lui poser de questions. Um, Mr. Doig, do you recognize this document? Have Monsieur you seen Doig, this before? Reconnaissez-vous le document? L'avez-vous déjà lu? L'avez-vous déjà vu? Look, Mr. Doig, Council, le Président, you are instructed to remove Maître, the blockage veuillez, so that witness can see the whole document so that you can ask whether the witness have seen qui sont or have read this document. Otherwise, you are not allowed to put further question concerning this document. Demandez au témoin s'il a déjà vu ou s'il reconnaît le document. Sinon, vous n'avez pas le droit de lui poser des questions. Doik. Do you recognize this Doc, document? Reconnaissez-vous ce document? Okun. Response. Squall. Yes, I do. Réponse. Oui. Could you, could you please read out Question. the annotation in the, at the bottom of the document? Pouvez-vous lire la note au bas du document? And I have a copy of a, a hard copy of the entire document for the witness. Une copie papier du document intégral pour le témoin. The president, uh, witness has already obtained uh, the hard copy. Le témoin a déjà la copie. But please uh, be more specific to the portion you wish the witness to read Mais so that uh, he could uh, be well informed and vous what to act. Le témoin I have the, in, a copy of the entire document without the oui, redactions. En main, uh, le the whole purpose of my exercise was to make it easier for the witness to read the appropriate sections. But maybe the court officer can give him a copy of the document. Cette copie papier no, du document like intégral. The president uh, Court officer is now instructed uh, to fetch the document uh, from counsel and hand it over to the witness. Doink, um, 
Do you understand which uh, annotation I would like you to read? Est-ce que vous savez de quelle annotation je souhaitais, je souhaite que vous regardiez? It's the one you made. Je parle de l'annotation que vous avez faite. The response, I would like to read the following passage as follows. Dear respected brother, one, the forces reported this time were all from sector 22, both in the revolutionary line and the network of Kok Minh Tang at Piriang. Two, the highest Deux. force that he mentioned was Tum. La force la plus dont il a fait Three. Est Tum. Trois. He said that comrade Xi Ping il a dit que was a revolutionist. He said in his own stance regards Dutch, 15 October 1977. Thank you. Who is Pessman, the remercie. beloved brother this annotation is addressed to? Et qui est le frère bien aimé à qui cette annotation s'adresse? Akun. Response. This document Réponse. was dated on the 15th of October 1977. October I was referring this document to Brother Nguyen. Et j'ai envoyé ce document au frère Noon. Could you read out the annotation with the date 17th of October 77? Vous lire la date où vous figure la date 17 October 1977. Aucun réponse. Point number one can be important. Two, this man is a string of the Cambodian Chinese interpreter, translator. Three, I haven't read it yet. I would like you to read it first. Signature Q. And the date? Response. Seventeenth October, nineteen seventy-seven. Le 17 octobre 1977. And who is Q? Et qui est Q? Akun. Q. Response. Q. Réponse. He refers to Ici, brother Son Sen. And you agree with me that the date under this annotation is two days after. The date under your annotation. Deux jours après votre annotation, n'est-ce pas? Do you agree? Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec moi? Oh, oh, good. Response. Yes, I do. Oui. Are you sure this um, confession was uh, sent to Nunchia? Est-ce que cet aveu a été envoyé à Nunchia? Pourquoi? Response, Réponse. yes, I am. Oui, je le suis. There is another annotation, Une autre annotation figure in the top left. En haut à gauche. It is not very easy to read. But maybe you can help us. Lire ce passage, mais que vous nous aider. Can you read it, please? Vous lire ce passage? Akun. Response. I will read it as follow. Je vais lire le passage comme suit. Special. On the part of comrade Q, contacting comrade the Kiel East. Contact avec and who wrote that uh, annotation? Et qui a écrit cette annota annotation? Akun. Response. According to the 
content uh, written by Son Sen, which uh, indicated that you could uh, read first. And uh, this was the special request uh, concerning the request for con uh, regarding the contact of the comrade uh, Q in at uh, the east. So my observation, uh, this annotation could have been made uh, by Paul Port. That's indeed what you told the investigating judges, that Kyo Son Sen sent the confession to Paul Port, who then, according to your statement, sent it back to Son Sen, who annotated the confession on the 11th of November 1977. Can you just, for the record, read that small annotation as well? Response. June. Already sent. 11 November 1977. And do you recognize the handwriting? Response. I think I made a mistake on this. I said it was written by Son Sen based on the date, uh, the 11th of November 77, because on that date Son Sen wrote uh, several annotations. However, having looked at this uh, annotation again, I think uh, it could have been written by Brother Nguyen, so I am mixed up myself. So I. If I understand you correctly, you're si je vous correcting bien, your statement, vous êtes en train de ce que vous avez which you gave to the investigating judges, que vous avez au where you said that this annotation was some sense annotation, annotation avait été faite on de the basis de of the date sur la base under the, on the document or under the annotation. Is that correct? Response. I did uh, make it very clear that before the co-investigating judges, I said uh, that annotation was made by Son Sen uh, based on the date and the, ta uh, the task uh, given to him by Paul Pot. That's what you told the investigating judges, but voilà are you telling the court now that it is in fact Nguyen Chia's handwriting? And my question was, are you saying that because the date is the 11th of November 1977? Can you please explain? Response. Having seen this writing, I now feel that uh, it was Je pense maintenant instead written by Brother Nguyen Chia because I, uh, the, the annotation Nguyen made uh, by upper echelon and uh, I am now rather uh, confused when it comes to uh, this uh, particular annotation. That's all I can tell the court. Doik, you told the investigating judges that confessions you sent to your superior were never returned to S21. Is that correct? Response, yes. So to be absolutely clear, 
question and have no misunderstanding when you were at S21, you sent the document to your superior without the annotations which are not yours. And you never saw any of the annotations made by superiors until this document was shown to you in your own case. Am I summarizing your position correctly? Est-ce que je résume de façon exacte ce que vous avez dit? Response. Réponse. S21 documents that were sent to my superior contain Les only my annotations on top of the confessions of the prisoners. After they were sent, la suite, I never received envoyé, the documents that I annotated earlier again. However, I wish to also emphasize envoyé. that uh, Mr. Pesman did not give me the full message Maître of it. Pestman Mr. Nate Tyre, when he met me in April 1999, en avril he presented uh, the confession of Kung Kien to me, asking me the, uh, to confirm the annotations on the confessions. And I noted the annotations of Son Sen and uh, Nguyen Chia. And that was the first time, indeed, I saw the annotations uh, made uh, by my superior on the confessions that I annotated earlier. Um, just to be sure about the date, but when, when did you first see confessions annotated by your superior? Pour la première fois. Response. That was in April 1999. Your Honours, I would like to move on to the next confession. Maître Pesman, uh, Madame, Messieurs les Juges, j'aimerais maintenant passer aux aveux suivants. Uh, the President, uh, Council Canavas, you may proceed. Mr. President, before Council Mozan, perhaps uh, he can tell us exactly which statement. He made reference to a statement, but uh, there was no nothing for the record, and there are so many, so perhaps the better practice would be to cite the exhibit number and then maybe the error number, and that way, if it's done once, at least we know what statement he's referring to. I'm not sure which, which statement. Um, I'm speaking about the one that you just confronted the witness with, where you indicated that he had given the investigative judges one version versus the version that he's giving here today for the purposes of confrontation. I'm sorry, I am. Um, I will give you the ERN number. ERN number in English is 00398164. Khmer 00398157. The President Council, could you repeat uh, the ERN number of the document again? The English number is 00398164. Khmer 00398157. French 00398171. Document number is D225. 
I'm sorry for not uh, giving you the, the reference. It's the document where the witness states that that particular annotation was written by Son Sen. With permission, I would like to show the next confession, D43, stroke Roman 4, Annex 77. And the Khmer ERN is 0017. The president interrupts. I think it is now appropriate time for adjournment. The court will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will resume at 10 after 3. Security personnel is instructed to bring the witness to his waiting room and have him return to the courtroom by 3.10. Dans le prétoire,